In the 1995 film Heat, Robert De Niro's character committed armed robbery. In the 2008 film Pineapple Express, James Franco's character dealt illegal drugs. In the 1994 film Pulp Fiction, Samuel L. Jackson's character committed multiple counts of murder. I was a witness. I was a witness. I was a witness. Okay, how's it going? All right, how I'm Steve, yourself? I'm the artist. Uh, Nathan. All right, so we're gonna try to do a sketch of this guy that you saw. Uh, you just give me the best information you can. He was uh, African-American, male, probably around early 30s, mid 30s. Um, somewhere between slim and probably average. Uh, his, his nose was wide and you could definitely see the nostrils. Okay. Mm. Would you say his eyes were close set, far apart, or about average? I'd say about average. Caucasian male, um, probably between mid 20s and uh, 30s. He had a very like oval face, a strong jaw. His eyes were maybe kind of lazy. He had brown hair, it was shoulder length, okay. straight. He's an older white male. Um, he's in his uh, late 40s, early 50s. I've never nailed down his age particularly. I would say that his eyes are normal aspect. They're not too far, they're not too narrow. But when he's looking at you, he, you know that he's looking at you specific. Keeps his hair on like an average military build, uh, about two inches in bulk on the top, about one inch on the sides. And then he had uh, really interesting facial hair with, with the sideburns coming down and a handlebar mustache. Handlebar yeah. Bit, is it kind of uh, the lips might have been a bit thinner. Thinner than this, yeah. yeah. His hair was, uh, it was like jerry curled. His bangs ended like an inch above his eyes and then came down a little bit longer in the back. Have you, uh, did, did, have you ever seen this guy before? Show him just now? No, it's the first time. His eyebrows were thin. Is there anything that you want to tell me right now? This is a good time to tell me. Uh, and just like a little bit of facial hair. So a little bit mustache and just kind of a stubbly chin. Mm -hmm. I have no idea what the guy looks like. So, <laughs> so you need to tell me. I, mean, I can't, I can't uh, sometimes. You know. His eyebrows were thin. And maybe lips were a little wider on the face. He keeps his uh, facial hair in about like a goatee fashion. His nose, it's, it's very strong. It's a, it's a strong, uh, triangular type nose and his bottom lip isn't as narrow as what you might think of if you have one top lip that's narrow. <laughs> I mean, there's a difference. <laughs> has like a little mole type thing. Uh, it's on his right side. How does that look? It looks something like the guy? Yeah, it looks quite a lot like him. I think uh, I think I did pretty well. I think he'd come in for uh, for a lineup. I think they'd bring him in for a lineup for sure. I mean, it, it's it's hard to say. I mean, it, again, it could be Lionel Richie. That looks like Earth. Is this me? Does this look like me, you guys? <laughs> um, see what we ended up with. <laughs> well, we got him. <laughs> but I think that these are pretty good. I mean, you know, they, the essence of all these guys are in there. I would say that the weakest one would be this guy. I forget what his name is. James Franco. Franco, right. 